Nowadays, spending just a few minutes in front of the television, we have countless brands making some very bold claims in terms of their performance. But what is a true realistic expectation when it comes to cleaning results? Well, the truest indicator would be comparing one brand against another, and that's exactly what we're going to do today. My name is Jared Costa, the National Training Director for Mila USA. One of the key functions of my job is to understand new products and features before they come to market. And with that, understanding the competitive landscape and how Mila performs compared to some of our leading competitors. Now, one of the most ever growing popular items for the dishwashers on the market today would be app capability that I can remotely start my dishwasher even if I've forgotten and left the house. Except that, oops, I didn't put a tab in the dishwasher. Enter the power disc, a preloaded detergent that's already in your dishwasher. I can start the dishwasher remotely without having made that consideration or having to worry, did I remember to put a tab in? Now certainly there is significant benefit in terms of convenience, but how does the detergent actually clean? Which of course is its main functionality. So today what we want to do is take a look at how Mila's power disc detergent compares against a leading competitor detergent on the market today. For our demonstration today, what we're going to do is take two even amounts of water that have been heated evenly, about 120 degrees. In addition to that, I've applied potato starch to two different plates. We'll then use an indicator so you have an idea of how much potato starch is on there and ultimately then see how well Miele detergent cleans versus a leading competitor. To give a clearer indication of just how soiled the dishes are, I'll use an antiseptic iodine, which will react really well with the potato starch on the plate. We'll do about two and a half milliliters for each plate, and then I'll evenly distribute it so you get a really good sense of just how dirty these plates are. So I'll start by taking my iodine for the leading competitor's plate, and I'll apply it real nicely as much as I can with the syringe before I will then brush it right into the surface so that again you get a really great idea of just how soiled these are and you'll see that iodine go from an amber hue into a dark purplish color in short order. And of course now that that's applied nice and evenly I'll do the same to the converse plate. So again, I'm gonna take my indicator, swirl it around, and then I'll brush it in to give a very good idea of just how soiled these plates are. And as they dry, you'll start to see some of the areas where it sets in really start to take on that dark purplish hue. So now that we have our plates, we'll give them a moment to dry so they can really set in and we'll have the truest indicator of what we can come to expect from cleaning. Now that we've given the plates an opportunity to dry and set a bit, I'm going to apply even amounts of detergent and stir them in even a uh, number of times in the same direction for both the leading competitor detergent as well as the Miele Power Disc detergent. So I'll take two tablespoons, apply it first to the competitor detergent, uh, and then I will do the same to the Miele detergent. One. Two. And we'll stir it an even number of times. Eight times in a single direction for the competitor detergent, and now the same will be applied to the Mila. Right away, we can start to see quite a visual difference in the way that the Miele 
dissipates and distributes itself through the water as opposed to the leading competitor who simply just doesn't have the dissolution to really get a nice attachment rate. So the distribution rate from the get-go is clearly in Mila's advantage. Next, we're going to dip our two plates and see how, of course, the detergents ultimately affect the cleaning results. So, now I'll dip my two plates. In particular, what you'll notice is what a key advantage it is for Mila to have such incredible dissolution because the attachment rate, particularly to the really heavy starch, is going to be significantly better than what we can expect out of the leading competitor's detergent. So we'll give them a few minutes and see how the action ultimately breaks down, and I think the visual should be quite stunning. So we've given it about a moment or so to really start to attach and see what we can expect in terms of results. And as you can see, in very short order, Mila has certainly done a significant job in terms of being able to really dig in and aggressively remove all that soiling. Ultimately, the leading competitor, as you can see, hasn't done much to influence. Some of the amber may have ultimately been removed, but ultimately uh, it, it's not doing a great job on the more significant areas. Mila certainly did a great job, and when you consider that most consumers today want shorter programs, they certainly don't say to themselves, well, it's a shorter program, so I expect less clean results. And as you can see, with Mila's dissolution rate and how well it evenly distributes throughout the water, it was set up to do a much better job, and it clearly did so. Now, it really comes with a full wider perspective because like we discussed on the onset, you have a significant convenience factor that can marry into having app capability. Cl clearly the cleaning performance is significantly better than the uh, leading competitor. And ultimately what you have is a very holistic approach that you're going to get the world's most convenient system, the world's first completely automatic detergent dispensing dishwasher, and of course the best cleaning results in the market today. For more information about the world's most limitless dishwasher, the G7000, please go to MilaUSA.com or visit one of our dealer partners. Thank you.